This is an unboxing video for the VIFO A119 dash cam. This is the current packaging which you'll be receiving. The A119 has 2K 2560 by 1440p resolution at 30 frames per second plus 1080p at 60 frames per second. It runs off a Novatech chipset using the Omnivision sensor resulting in a 110 degree horizontal view not the 160 advertised. The wedge shaped design allows mounting higher up the windshield. It contains a G sensor and uses a capacitor rather than a battery. I selected the VIFO A119 for its superior 2K resolution, image control and CPL filter to reduce dash reflections. It supports up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. I purchased the dash cam from blackboxmycar.com and the modification that has been made to the current release of A119's is this notch on the lens housing. This is to accept the CPL filter and this has been designed specifically for this dash cam. It is a glass lens in a plastic housing and to orient it correctly the long slot goes on the top mount to the windshield in the event the lens gets loose and wants to drop out it won't drop out the bottom it will stay in place because the slot is at the top when it is attached there is increased width here now between your lens and the windshield so you need to have a thicker mount here or you won't be able to aim the camera and that's what's included in the new packaging so we have your guide your data transfer cable mini USB and used for firmware upgrades your generously long power cable and adapter which is 3.1 amp with two power outlets you get your extra adhesive and removal string which you would use around your fingers to saw off the adhesive from your windshield if it's required there are other methods but they supply that you have your five stick on cable clips for mounting I purchased the GPS unit. If you get one, well, I would suggest you should get one anyway. But note these four pins. Don't touch them. Don't bend them. Don't push on them in any way. These are critical, of course, to making uh, contact with the dash cam. If you don't see them in this orientation, if they don't look like this, get a new module. 
the new modules have reinforced pins. Now when you mount this, you benefit many, many ways just from getting the GPS module even without using the GPS data. One is you now have a straight cable going from the top of your windshield straight instead of from the side. So that alone is worth buying the module. But the other advantage is if you buy the module and the CPL, this extra thickness now gives you extra clearance when you're mounting it to your windshield for aiming. So that's a bonus right there. Included in the box now when you order the A119 you will get not one but two non-GPS mounts. There is a difference. When you put them side by side you will see that one is flat one is a wedge. The wedge is meant to attach with the CPL filter mounted. This one is not. If you use the thin one you won't be able to aim your camera lens correctly. It will hit the glass with the CPL filter attached. So you would in fact be using the wedge. Let's see if I can just do this quickly. If you were to aim this on your windshield, you now have approximately two millimeters of clearance for aiming, and it actually drops quite significantly depending on the angle of your windshield. So, without the wedge, you could not use the CPL filter. That is the difference in the packaging today. I was very impressed with the A119 image quality at such a low price. The team at blackboxmycar.com provide great service and support. Their live chat is very helpful and I did pay cash for my unit. This is a great value if you're looking for an inexpensive high quality image quality dash cam. See my setup video and footage next for the A119. Thank you for watching.